Hi. Um, <clears throat> I had some um, issues with my uh, 150 um, horsepower fixed engine. Um, I was told actually there was some issues with it. There was a bearing issue or something like that. Um, so it ran actually quite well when it's cold. And when I've been running for a while and then getting uh, it getting hot, it tends had a tendency to get um, um, a ticking sound, uh, especially in idle. I hear the sound. Uh, so, and I can't have something like that. I can't have can't have things not working decently, having a sound, and it's. Sound is for me something like uh, to start getting um, broken so shortly. So um, I took um, I took it home, took it uh, completely apart, as you can see here. I uh, have all the pistons here. There's a, um, a bit of score here. Um, I had an issue. I found an issue at the beginning, uh, investigating this engine with. Um, the lubrication, it was diaphragm was broken, um, <clears throat> so it also has some tendency to, to that there is an issue with the, um, had been an issue with the lubrication, but um, I've been running it, I, I fixed the lubrication pump and all that, I've been running it and there's oil in all the, well you see in all the shiny things here, everything is shiny, all oil everywhere, so I believe I fixed the oil. Uh, problem but <clears throat> damage has been done uh, this is uh, cylinder number three you can see my slightly mark here um, oh, this is the stroke I just was put on here it has a um, quite a, f a score here um, I believe it has been quite hot due to combination of um, old badly working thermostates and uh, lack of lubrication also uh, so number two and number three is a bit um, a bit scored this one here has the scored thing and there was some uh, there was some uh, deposits that you can see the marks a bit here I just tried to polish it off um, I'll do hone of this cylinder also before putting it back together um, <clears throat> but there was actually some aluminium here in the surface which were kind of um, grinded into the surface like it welded into the surface so I have to use this um, use this um, the sandpaper gently taking the high points and on until I get down to the metal again but this results in that you have here aluminium running towards aluminium and when it gets hot um, it expands the piston and then you get the gripping of the, the piston towards the um, uh, cylinder wall and that, that causes it to kind of uh, give a vibration so it'll like click click inside and you can hear it uh, triggering like a clicking sound so also what I found uh, when sitting in my uh, clean the piston take it in, there's a crack he beginning here actually so I find I found some new not new uh, you can see the crack there I found some used pistons on the internet I just bought so I took the best of them and put it in also I found that this one had some well, so probably due to lack of lubrication due to this um, that this has hit the crank cranks so after kind of grinded a bit of groove here so I believe this is the cause for the um, thing of the sound and it runs, runs quite good I, after I did the uh, cleaning of the um, cleaning of the um, injectors and I had bought some mixed injectors and found the best of those who just matched together and run those in it so it runs quite good but it has this sound so this is a starboard piston and this is 
towards the exhaust. So the exhaust port is that one here, or the uh, uh, incoming flush channel, channel channels are here. So if you push, one thing I want to also ask here, for instance, one thing I found funny here is that when I put it in, Might have to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I need a new piston anyway. It's cracked anyway. So, um, don't do this with one hand. So I'm gonna just lay it down. I'm move my phone. And what I want to show you here, which is when I have it in here. Um, and move it down to 65 millimeters. This is something else. So it's just about 0.75. There's something around here. I have. Let's get some light. This. When I had it down uh, at the bottom end. You see that the piston actually more or less closes to the flush channels um, up here and that one. So there's main flush channels here and here is working then. So I was just thinking of it. If anybody had tried just to modify the piston slightly at the low end. I had this, the dashed line is here. This is where the, um, the ports actually start opening. You see here. Now it's uh, closed. So I was just thinking maybe not to do a lot, just to do a bit on this side anyway. And on the other side here. To take a bit off, maybe five mil or something like that. So when I'm moving down, it's still when it's open, there's a little bit more gap. I don't know if it actually will have any effect or anything at all, but it was tempting to do while it's hot. Um, one of the things I always was told that this, this is 150 horsey power. So what I was told that is the exhaust uh, porting is different between 175 horse and 150 horse. Um, but this this is of course the um, these sides here of course balance the piston from. Um, not tipping over, but uh, I should have taken that out in advance. An old set of pistons from my Mercury. Is of this, but those pistons here. This is the Mercury, and uh, I can't see which size, uh, which size it's on, uh, but it's a 260 horsepower Mercury high performance engine where the piston looks like this. 
Talk about. Yeah, I think actually this is the right point. Compare these two pistons with each other. They have the slot on this side, yeah. And the slot on the other side. But I know I did a bit of modification on that one, but it was just rounding off this edge, but it was sliced down like this. So they have a quite a f quite a bit of um, um, what's it called depth here. So sorry for the mess. So comparing. The balancing height of these two, let's say, okay, let's uh, compare it towards the pin. Let's see, if I take a look at where we have the pin, where's the pin? So I just want to see if I can just help this align it, I can, like that, so, sorry, I'm sort of going down, um, so now I align the wrist pin alignment here, so, this is where you have the balance of the piston, more or less. So I was just thinking, tempted to just do a bit of the skirt here to get a little more air that way over. I don't think it'll harm it. Uh, this engine is uh, um, um, running 7,500 RPM, and this one is only running about 5,000. So. Um, so I just guess that it won't harm it. I don't know if it gain anything, but I, I think I'll get a just better breeding for this um, this part of the um, the part of the uh, flush channels here, and definitely that one. I'll just maybe just only do a bit of cut on towards this skirt here. So I'll get a bit of better flushing here. So or maybe also do a bit over here. Just a bit. It's only it's only this this tiny bit, this different here between here and here, it's five millimeters, something like that. Um just wondering if anybody had tried doing that and found any gain gain on this. more to say yeah um also see some pistons with has opening here for the 225 it has a big opening here but that mean must have meant that the skirt was cut much higher up to get again again of that um so uh, one thing i want to do with this um reason why I actually did this rounding off the edge here was to get more lubrication coming up because if you have a too sharp edge here the piston will more or less just scoop off the oil instead of um, getting the oil going in between so I want to just round this edge up a bit more so it's more it's a bit more like that instead of like that so that that way when the it, goes into the oil and they lubricate better um, so that that's why this one is like this edge is here it's cut like that you see the chain for edge here so 
So I broke this engine, but it was not a piston that I broke. It was a crankshaft I broke on that. Unfortunately, I found not, I not found a crankshaft for it yet, but maybe someday. Until then, I'm stuck with my Everin Root 150 horsey. Um, yeah, the cylinders, all of them, look okay. I just found that some of the edges, also the edges here around here, is here was a bit sharp. So this is also have a bit, have to have a chamfered edge. Uh, so that when the piston ring comes towards the edge, it has a bite of a small uh, chamfer set to, to catch the cylinder wall again on. And also found that there was some groovings, uh, some scratches on the edges here from, from the honing no bore. So, okay, so if anyone has any idea what to do with the, either the porting or the pistons, I'll be glad to hear. So, yeah, thank you for now. Hope to hear something.